Apple does not want you to own your iPhone. Everyone is always talking about digital real estate and I believe that they have let that go to their head and they have plans on renting your iPhone to you. But what does that have to do with social media, you might ask me? Well, it's very simple. We already have Twitter Blue. And according to Twitter, it's a service that elevates quality conversations on Twitter. Your comments are ranked higher if you subscribe to Twitter Blue, as well as receiving several other different features. And just in case you were wondering, why is Twitter Blue $11? Twitter plans to charge $11 for a Twitter Blue subscription on the iPhone in order to account for the 30% cut that Apple takes from in-app purchases. Because a lot of people underestimate the greed of one of the wealthiest companies in American history. And now we have Meta Verify following Twitter's lead and offering a bundle of different services that you may not even be sure that you want or need. And right now, whether you subscribe to Meta Verified or not, it is one of the most important decisions that is possibly going to be made on the internet in a very long time. Right now, there are supposedly only about 180,000 subscribers to Twitter Blue. That is less than 0.2% of the users on the platform. But Meta has a substantially larger audience with 3 billion Facebook users and approaching 2 billion Instagram users. If Meta can pull off mass adoption of their Meta Verified program, not only will they bring in a lot of cash revenue to make investors happy, but they will also change the way we've used the internet for the past 20 years. But let's talk about the real problem of Meta Verify and how it's going to change the internet forever. You may think that it's only $11 or $15 a month, but if you start thinking about it, but this is going to cost anywhere from $290 to $360 to verify two social media accounts, a process that is performed once and done, but you continue to pay monthly to maintain it. It's not as though every month they're doing something different for you. It's only them providing good service. What would you think of Apple if they charged you for the security that they do provide for their devices? Or better yet, what would you think of the base product if security was something you had to pay for in addition? The base product must be garbage if I have to pay for security and privacy and safety while using your platform or operating your device. Another problem with this subscription model that everybody is rolling out is that it involves the risk of price increases. Netflix raised their prices and millions of people unsubscribed, but a lot of people stayed on and are suffering through those increased prices because they cannot control them. And if you subscribe to Meta Verify, there is nothing to keep them from raising the subscription price a few months later. We already see that Twitter Blue provides quality ranking to comments and Meta Verify was thinking of adding increased visibility to the bundle, but have since removed it because of a lot of YouTube videos and blog posts and other things that highlighted the function and people called it pay to play. But there is no telling what limitations Facebook, Instagram or Twitter may place on users who do not subscribe in order to provide a so-called premium service to their subscribers. The next problem is not so obvious, but if you do decide to ever cancel your subscription, you're going to find it very difficult to do so because you are going to be in the habit of paying the monthly subscription and of receiving the dopamine hits from seeing the blue check mark on your profile finally, even though it has nothing to do with notoriety. But even more important than all of those previous reasons, this is the one particular reason why you should think twice about subscribing to Meta Verify. If Meta Verify is successful among US users, it will set a precedent. A precedent is something that people use to justify later actions. And if we begin to pay for social media services that should be provided in the first place, what is going to incentivize these platforms to fight impersonation, to fight hackers, to fight bots? And why not let them run wild and wreak havoc 
so that we can herd everyone into our subscription plan. And then once they feel safe and coddled, they'll raise the price as high as we want because it's the standard. Now we set a precedent. And so only those who can afford it will actually receive the benefit of privacy, security and safety using our platform. And if this very possible scenario plays out and these platforms become a cesspool of bad actors and their attempts to herd us into their subscription services, how are they going to protect minors that are using the platform? And the truth of the matter is that security, privacy and safety should be free. You shouldn't have to pay for those in 2023. Once you reach a certain milestone on YouTube, they will verify your identity and verify your account and you do not have to pay extra for it. And that's the way it should be on Facebook, Instagram, and even on Twitter. In the digital age, when we deal with identity theft and personal identifiable information, in so many of the scandals that we've seen around personal data, why is it not a legal requirement for social media services to provide this layer of protection to its users? I don't know if 180,000 Twitter users subscribing to Twitter Blue can be called a success. But I do know that if Meta Verify is a successful subscription service in the U.S., you will see Apple roll out a subscription hardware service very soon. And if they do so, they will force you into it by ceasing the sale of the iPhone or some other means. And that will be the beginning of the end when you will own nothing and supposedly be happy. And that's why I want to tell you to think long and hard about subscribing to Meta Verify. Yes, it may provide a layer of protection, but ask yourself, why do I have to pay for a layer of protection? Why do I have to pay to make sure my Facebook account can't be hacked? My Instagram account can't be hacked. Why do I have to pay for that? Why isn't that a part of using the platform, especially if you're a content creator who faithfully uploads to the platform and is building an audience on that platform and helping that platform to remain relevant. And I know that this video may not get a lot of views, definitely won't get a lot of watch time. And I know that a lot of people are still going to subscribe to Meta Verified. But if you made it this far in the video, I just want to ask you to really think long and hard about it and ask yourself, is it worth it? And even if it is worth it, do they deserve my money after all the time I've been on this platform, everything I've done for it, and now they want to charge me for security? Is Meta Platforms worth it? Is this verification badge going to add any value to my platform on Instagram or Facebook as a whole? Because as far as notoriety goes, we've already talked about how it's not really going to help you in that area because everyone is going to have a blue check mark. Everyone is going to have a verify badge. It's going to mean something completely different. It's not going to be special anymore.